Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elias, and in today's video I'll be talking about all the books I want to read for the month of April. So I cannot believe that spring is officially here. It's like as if January, March, and February were its own entity, its own thing. I cannot believe we're already four months into 2021. You know that spring is here, it's just something new, something beautiful, something fresh. It's just in the air and it's just bringing all the good vibes. It's immaculate and I'm here for it. So I'm really excited for the books that I'll be reading this particular month because there are a lot of my most anticipated reads that I'm hoping to hit. And on top of that, there are some books that I won't be able to show you guys because I'll be withholding those books for future secret videos that I'll hopefully get around to that soon. Keep a lookout for that. Before we get further into the video, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Book of the Month. Y'all already know. Do I need to say more? If you're not new to my channel, you all already know what I'm gonna say. So say it with me. Book of the Month is a super fast, popular online growing book service for readers. Every book that you order from their website comes in their signature blue box. What makes Book of the Month special and different from other bookish subscription services is they're risk-free, meaning if you're not vibing with that particular month or the selection of books, you can cancel and you won't be charged. The other thing though that they have going on, you won't find anywhere else. They have the absolute best price for new releases in hardcover fiction. If you're looking to save some monies, I have a code for you that you guys can use. You guys can enter Spring Fun to get your first book for only $9.99, aka $10, aka unbeatable. So with that being said, let's take a look at their book picks for the month of April. And not gonna lie, I am actually really excited for some of these books. The selection for this month, Chef's Kiss, top tier. Firstly, we have a thriller, The Hunting Wives, a sizzling story about Southern Bells on the hunt in more ways than one. Next is What Comes After, a contemporary fiction about a town struggling after the death of two boys. Next, we have Arsenic and Adobo, the story following a young woman whose ex-boyfriend gets poisoned in her restaurant and everyone thinks that she did it. Next is Liberty, a historical fiction about a young woman's fight to shape her future in 1800s New York City. Last and not least, we have People We Meet on Vacation, a contemporary romance about two fools in love who might be the only ones who don't actually know it yet. Also, real quick, can we just appreciate the design, cover, and flair that both of these books have. They're both very similar in terms of layout and structure and design. We can see some popping color in the background, your basic font, and a simple design. Honestly, very simple, yet extremely effective. So, can you tell that graphic design is my passion? All right, so those are the book picks for this month in April. Don't forget to use the code SPRINGFUN to get your first book for only $9.99. And thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. All right, so let's talk about the books I want to read for April. Coming in at number one. So obviously, just a small late night book club plug. Wow, I'm extremely proud of how fast that sentence came out. Say it five times really fast. The late night book club plug. The late night book club plug. The late night book club plug. The late night book club. Nope, can't do it. Anyways, for the month of April, we are choosing to read Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safran, and I'm honestly so excited to read this book. If you already know me, I love books about books in general. So this takes place after the Second World War in Barcelona, and it follows this young man who finds a book called The Shadow of the Wind in this bookstore. Upon reading this book and doing some more research and background information, he finds out that this book is pretty much the only work that this author has produced, while everything else that this author has worked on has been seemingly destroyed. So he goes on this journey of self-discovery and finding Barcelona's darkest secrets of magic, murder, and doomed love. All in all, this sounds fantastic, it sounds tragic, and grim, and beautiful, and whimsical, and I'm here for it. I've heard nothing but praise, fantastic things about the author in general. I believe this book came out roughly 20 years ago. Don't quote me on that, though. The few people that I know that have read it, they're in love with this book. Their lives are basically forever changed because of this book. And I've also like started this book, I believe maybe two or three years ago, and I got 40 pages in, chapter six. And for some reason I stopped, which was a blessing and a curse in disguise because because I obviously put it down, didn't finish it. But here I am today. It's a book club pick for April and hoping that the rest of you will join us. Also, fun fact about this book in general, I actually own the rest of the book in the series. Don't know why, I've just been collecting them over the past couple of years. And one thing I've really noticed, what is unique about this whole series, is that every book that I have um, is different. This one is just beautiful with gold foliage. This one, <laughs> you can still see the price tag, has sort of a different cover flap um, that's different size from the rest of the book. And the last one has deckled edges. I don't know, so I'm feeling some magical vibes here already with all of these books in general, so I'm really, really excited. All right, so the next book I want to read is The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nevo. This book is my absolute most anticipated read of 2021. I just want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Tor for sending me an early copy of this book so I can read it. The package that this book came in was 
just magnificent. I unwrapped it and unboxed it in a video and just talked more about that in general. And you guys can watch that video. I'll leave a link to it somewhere on the screen. This essentially is a Great Gatsby retelling that has a queer Asian American character. And from the blurb, it's full of magic, murder, mystery, and glittering excess. So definitely here for it. I will be doing a reading vlog for this particular book. So keep a lookout for that one. All right, so the next book I want you to read is Out of Body by Jeffrey Ford. This one is actually a novella. It's really short. However, I'm getting a huge A Nightmare on Elm Street and Stranger Things vibes from this book. So this follows a small town librarian who, after the traumatic experience of holding a dying girl in his arms, he gains this knack, this strange ability of going out of his own body. So basically astral projection in a sense. However, this town has a dark secret. He discovers a serial killer who's been alive for a century who can also travel with him in his dreams. So this sounds really creepy, really eerie, really cool in a way. So I'm really excited to see where this will go, especially since it's a novella. It's pretty short. So I'm really curious to see how the author will just combine all those ideas into this short book. The last novella that I read wasn't as good as I thought it would be. So hoping this one will do better. So the next book I want to read, um, I actually don't own a copy because it's actually not out yet, but it comes out the first week of April, and it's Pieces by Helen Oyayemi. I'll insert the cover here, but it essentially follows these two young men who are in love, who embark on a journey in a train. That's pretty much it. That's all I know about the book. The blurb of the book doesn't even offer too much at all in the first place, but from the book, I'm getting vibes of the Polar Express, but make it queer. So definitely here for it. It sounds like it's a contemporary fiction with whimsical elements. That of course are sort of the key ingredients, those key elements that I love to read in books. This one I believe comes out on April 6th. All right, last and not least, the book I want to read in April is Every Vow You Break by Peter Swanson. So Peter Swanson, without fail, has basically come out with a book every year or so. I think I have read every single book that he has written except for his debut book. The first book I read from him is The Kind Worth Killing. And every subsequent book following has just not been on that same level as The Kind Worth Killing. The Kind Worth Killing was one of the first thriller mystery books that I read, and it was just exceptional and brilliant. What I loved about it, it wasn't a hard-hitting twist, heavy-handed, in your face. It's very subtle and very quiet, almost in a way where you sort of skip over it without meaning to, and when you realize that that's the twist, it's just mind-blowing. So highly recommend that you guys check out The Kind Worth Killing if you're really wanting to get into thriller mysteries but don't know where to start. I think it's a great introductory book to that particular genre. But anyways, going back, every thriller mystery that he has written out so far has just not been on par. I just haven't vibed with any of those books. I've been giving them sort of three stars. I mean, that's not a bad rating, but they've been average. They're just not on that level as the first book that I read from him. And it's just disappointing, I guess. But he's just an author that I have faith and trust in to just continually read from. I want to say that the past three or four books that I've read from him have just been disappointing to say the least. But hopefully this latest one, Every Value Break, will bring something new to that table. But even with this book, I have doubts. I'm very skeptical because I'm not a huge fan of domestic thrillers or thrillers that tend to do with marriages in general or couples, they tend to use a lot of the same tropes over and over and there's only so much you can do with them. I'm hoping that with this one, he'll subvert the tropes or bring something new, a fresh perspective, a fresh take to these tropes, but I highly doubt it. We'll see. This one follows a young woman who the day before her wedding drunkenly hooks up with this random stranger for her bachelorette party. She's just like, ah, ah fuck, me. fuck me. I pretend, I not, pretend to not to see it. it. I'm, I'm getting married, married tomorrow. tomorrow. So, so peace. peace. So she marries the love of her life, but guess what? To her surprise, this man is a creepy bitch. He follows her, and stalks her, finds her, and tries to convince her that he's the right one for her. All the meanwhile, she hasn't told her husband of the secret. And then she begins to see or hallucinate another woman who's like afraid or standing in the shadows. I don't know, it's all very vague, but it seems very been there, done that. Also, fun tidbit, I'm reading this book with Kayla for her book club. The Literally Dead Book Club for the month of April and there will be a live show sometime at the end of the month or in the first week of May where we will be discussing our thoughts regarding this book, this thriller. It's been a good while I think since I've read a decent thriller so hoping, praying, Peter Swanson, please don't disappoint. So yeah, I'm definitely hoping you guys will join Kayla and I uh, in participating in reading Every Value Break for her book club and to discuss all the shenanigans, good shenanigans hopefully regarding this book. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me know what books you guys are currently reading or wanting to read in the month of April. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all soon with a new video. Every book order, every book order, every, every book order. So every book, every book cover, every, every book cover. I don't think I've read that yet. I don't, I think the first, I think aside from the, 
book that has followed up, and every subsequent book followed, and every, but every, also I'm reading this book, um, also I'm, oh my god. Oh my god. Can't even fucking speak. Bitch, get a hold of yourself.